So what are we gonna buy? Mm, I don't know. Let's see what they have here. Exciting stuff. <gasps> the plaid? Yeah. What are you gonna use that this for? It would be perfect for, you see, like grass. Grass. Let's buy two. <laughs> Next thing. To have something in the foreground. So I'm thinking some kind of plastic plant. I think this could work. It's gonna be like in the foreground. The mi miniature set is gonna be mostly in silhouette due to our budget-friendly options here. <laughs> <laughs> this store is one of the cheaper stores here in Sweden, but they have almost everything that you might need for your home. And apparently it's also this store that this man <laughs> buys most of his stuff. <laughs> Not all of my stuff, but on, for this kind of project, we're gonna do like a do-it-yourself okay. project. For his DIY stuff. Yeah, DIY stuff, yeah. <laughs> we got everything we need, back to the studio. Yeah. What do we need in the uh, studio? We need a table. I'm gonna fix a table for you. Please, that's okay. Green screen. Ah, let's see which one it is. Uh, there, uh, there we go. All right, sweet. <laughs> nice. Is enough? Yeah. Sweet. Let's uh, start building, huh? Are we done? Yeah, I think we're done with this uh, step. Now we need to test out the lighting. Sweet. I have no idea how this is gonna turn into like a set of an action movie. <laughs> so I custom built this. Is this your rig? Yeah, this is my rig. I'm using big rigs up in the ceiling. And here he comes with custom made Hornbach style. Yeah, man. Ooh, aperture lights. Yeah. Why Why are you using these lights? Uh, I'm using these lights because they are great and uh, they fit to metal. <laughs> <laughs> they fit. Don't fit still. <laughs> so I want to replicate the lights of the actual movie set from James Bond with where they used, you know, the 20 meter big full size lighting setups. So when I use all these lights on the rig, it looks kind of similar. And also they have this beautiful uh, fire effect, Ooh. which we're gonna use. Look at that, smoke machine. Yeah, we need some smoke. Is that expensive? No, it's like uh, 50 bucks. That's cheap. That's like the one that I used for the poker B-roll. It was also like 50 bucks. I have given Sebastian the power of the studio lights. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, dude, this looks good even in my camera. Wow, take a look at this. We have the smoke, which introduces the haze, and then we have the miniatures. Placing the camera here makes it look like a real set with a fire in the background. Wow, I am very impressed by this man's skills. And everything of this for the cost of approximately 150 bucks. Yeah. Wild. So what is the camera that you're using? Sony A7S III. This is a man of taste. Well, you can go to 12,800 ISO without noise. <laughs> and the problem goes from F14 to F40. So you need a ton of light or a high ISO, which makes this camera perfect. What is the reason why you're using the probe lens for this? The reason is I want to get real close to the environment. So you get this nice depth. In normal lens, it has a harder time to get really close to the subject. And also this lens has an f-stop up to 40, which makes everything <laughs> in focus. So usually in macro lenses, they go up to like f18, 22. I'm at 32 here. Everything will be in focus. Uh, and that's the big difference to make a small set look big. As soon as you have some blur, that will make everything look uh, smaller. Interesting. This uh, slider, you didn't use that? Yeah, usually I use this, but uh, for this shot, because we're gonna composite you inside the frame, and uh, for the parallax effect to be as good as possible, uh, I think we're gonna do a, a digital pushing for this one. All right. Is it because it's easier to do the composite then? Yeah, it's easier and also it looks more realistic and uh, it's better uh, in some cases. Sweet. The entire shot, that was like, four minutes. Yeah. And now we're done. Now we don't need this anymore. Nope. What? So 
<laughs> well, I'm gonna keep this for other projects. Being able to use something like this, as simple as you just did, you rig this up in like 10 minutes, yep. and then you were done to be able to get this kind of look. I think that that is super cool. Is it Rival's outfit now? Yep. Whoop. Oh, look at these, the good old Rival's clothes. I haven't used these in over a year, I think, and I haven't washed them <laughs> since. It's like dust and dirt. But this is gonna be a perfect occasion to bring back the suit. So. Yeah! <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> you know how long it took for me to realize that you can actually strap these from the front? In like one and a half year. <laughs> the gun. And this bad boy. Mm. Feel like everything is coming back to me right now. My name is Peter. Peter Lindgren. Yeah. I definitely feel badass. So you're keying out the green background now. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Always a challenge to get uh, clean, but this looks very solid. It's been a long time since anyone called me solid. <laughs> so I'm gonna suck it up. That guy, huh? Should be in Hollywood, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> of course, man. <laughs> It's gonna be sad to see this set leave in a way because I think it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be the last time that I use the rival's glasses. We're gonna put them to rest. I'm gonna put them right here. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm probably gonna use them again. How's the feeling, my dude? Was it a good it's time? Good. Yeah, it was a good time. Sweet. I had a good time too. Thank you for coming over. I will uh, I will see you on Instagram. Yeah, I will see you on YouTube. Yeah, definitely. Subscribe. Take care. Bye.